like that! Some orcs are self-styled marauders who crave riches more than other orcs. Greed, not bloodlust, motivates them, and unlike most other orcs, they wear jewelry such as this ring to mark their status. We obtain this ring from a dead marauder, so we've no idea of its history, though it seems Numenorian. If only we knew where the marauders find treasures like this ring, there's so much we could learn. crafted one by the standards of men. Gondor's preferred order of battle with variations is a chart depicting how an army should be organized, from the frontline infantry to the cooks and teamsters in the rear. Whenever I study it, I'm amazed at what it takes to send an army to war. 
details down to the number of cobblers and farriers for each column of soldiers. Such matters of supply seem mundane, until you're under siege, desperately fighting on quarter rations. Then, you're eager to pay attention to logistics. The structure of Gondor's army, from general to foot soldier. A structure the orcs will cast down the moment they set foot.
The Sea of Nern is home to beasts we can scarcely comprehend, but from time to time clues about their existence wash up on the shore. Our patrols found this fossilized squid beak years ago. If it is proportional to the smaller squids that fishermen sometimes catch, the sea creature would be several hundred feet long. Such a monster is the stuff of nightmares, proof that this world hides horrors far worse than the orcs. What a beast this must have been, and I doubt it was the last of its kind. the grand dramas and pageantry of Minas Tirith itself, but we had simple arts like music to give us the solace of home. When all around us lies in shadow, a simple folk song or pleasing dance was a ray of sunshine. I wonder if such music will ever be heard again. That's the worst part. You know, I'd always meant to learn the lute. Your hands aren't meant for music, Talion. They have a more serious purpose. I flew from ruin, and made a home for myself in the caves. I was here before the first stone of Barador, and I will survive its fall. I have come to enjoy the darkness. My brood has grown.
she wishes an empire of her own. I sense she has had her fill of empire building. is our word for bravery. And indeed, it took bravery to march on Mordor and wrest control of it from Sauron himself. slipped from my finger and onto Sauron's, I learned how little bravery differs from recklessness. When next I confront Sauron, I shall leave nothing to chance. As now, raising an army in Mordor meant overwhelming the orcs with a display of power. That power was the One Ring.
virtue of obedience. Then, as now, raising an army in Mordor meant overwhelming the orcs with a display of power. That power was the One Ring. <laughs> obey power, nothing more. Dwarves and men do likewise, even if they tell themselves it's a matter of honor, vengeance.
squash those spiders! Slaughter! <laughs> The sun rises, the shadows must retreat, fleeing in fear from the fires of the Lord. The night never knew that its end was fleet, as a bright lord bears beacons of flame. The sun rises, yes, but from the west it shines, marching air eastward, air eternal, air bright.
The Witch King will try to weaken us. Yes, he will try to draw us out. have sent a messenger. We cannot trust the mouths of Sauron. The orcs' numbers have swelled beyond count. They're preparing for another push. No one has seen your father since the last battle. I have men looking for him. What new devilry is this? The Witch King himself comes to negotiate. That the Uruks are incapable of mercy? That my father may already be dead? Ignore their taunts. We mustn't allow them. The Uruks love spectacle. If we can distract them in the arena, we can sneak into their camp and find my father. Can I ask this of you? I'll give them a show to remember. Try not to kill him too quickly. They seem to like their champion's chances, and it must be said, he has size on his side. True, but you and I have him outnumbered. Your city will burn! The scourge of man will be cleansed by fire! The Dark Lord strengthens me! I cannot be defeated! <laughs> for you, man-swine, as it comes for your city! Uh. 
well. Too well. Midral needs more time. Should I dance for them? Or in a manner of speaking. Getting torn to pieces by the toughest Uruk in Mordor!
abilities. Going all the way back to Udu. I'm tired of you stretching this out forever. Here's an idea. Stretch out your neck so I can take your head off it. Get this over with. This wasn't what I had in mind. hope Idril found her father. All that matters is the Palantir. It cannot fall into the Witch King's hands. 